Hello everyone and welcome to Evolkai, a machine learning community for machine learning enthusiasts. Now today we will be dealing with SGD classifier, also known as stochastic gradient descent classifier. Okay, so stochastic gradient descent or SGD classifier is a simple and efficient algorithm used in machine learning for classification tasks. To understand it, let's imagine you have a group of friends and you want to predict whether a new person will like a certain type of food. In the SGD classifier, each uh, friend represents a different feature or uh, characteristic of the new person that might influence their food preferences. For example, one friend might uh, represent spiciness tolerance, another friend might represent mm, sweetness preference and so on. The SGD classifier works by adjusting its parameter based on prediction it makes its uh, prediction it makes. Initially, the classifier assigns random weights to each uh, friend or feature. It then uh, takes a new example and calculates a score based on the weighted sum of the friend's opinion. That is their feature. If the score matches the actual label uh, food preference of the example, uh, the classifier keeps the weight the same and moves on the next example. However, if the way if the prediction is incorrect, the classifier adjusts the weight of the friend that is feature to reduce the error. This stochastic part of SGD refers to the fact that the classifier updates its weights after evaluating each example, rather than waiting for the entire dataset to be processed. This makes the algorithm more efficient and allows it to handle large datasets. By repeating this process multiple times and adjusting the weight based on the errors, the SGD classifier gradually learns to make better predictions. It finds the optimal weight that minimize the uh, overall error and improve its accuracy in classifying new examples. Okay, so now let's move to the diagram. Okay, so uh, this stochastic gradient descent classifier is like having a group of friends with different feature representing the characteristic, the characteristic of a person. The classifier adjusts the weight of these features uh, based on the correctness of the uh, of the predictions by iteratively updating the weight using each example the sgd uh, classifier improves its accuracy and learn to make better predictions over time okay so now i think you have got this so we'll be moving to the practical part okay so now first uh, we will start by importing the pandas library and uh, we will uh, read the data set using the read csv function and we will get all the data information using the info info function then uh, we will assign all the uh, columns that we have to take from the user and store it in features variable and the prediction class will be store uh, predicting uh, column will be stored in prediction class variable so uh, and uh, their values will be stored in x and uh, for the features and uh, for prediction class the values will be stored in y x will have all the data that uh, our user will give us as the input and y that it will get it will get as output from the machine learning model now uh, this is the training and testing part here we have uh, here we have to train here we have to split the uh, data into training and testing part so uh, here we have assigned test size as uh, 0.30 which is an ideal as we have already discussed in uh, our earlier videos that the testing part should always be less and training part should always be more so here the training and testing part is divided into the ratio of 7 is to 3 that is 70 percent is the training part and 30 percent is the training part more uh, the uh, model will be trained uh, more accurately it will predict the results Okay, so now here we will check uh, the uh, shapes of the data to uh, check if the train test, uh, test split has done its work correctly or not. Okay, so now we have reached the most important part of our video. So uh, this is uh, this is where we import the SDGC classifier and uh, we import it from a linear model uh, of SQLN library. Now I'll uh, now you will assign this SDGC classifier to a classifier variable and assign hyperparameter as loss equal to hinge and max iteration equal to five. So I have discussed this in my uh, practical explanation video. Uh, when you move to that part, you will get it. Now we will fit the data and uh, we will predict. Uh, 
after the model is processed we will predict on the basis of x plus and the values we will be storing in yprid okay so now uh, from sklearn we will import matrix and accuracy score and uh, we will uh, try to uh, predict the uh, accuracy on y test and yprid okay so we can see that the uh, accuracy <laughs> accuracy we have achieved here is uh, pretty low so uh, we will just quickly go and check if it if this accuracy is correct or not because i think this is not so <clears throat> let's head to our uh, vs studios and uh, check this okay so now uh, first i will quickly run all the code snippets so we will start by importing the pandas library now, uh, using the read CSV function of Pandas library, I'll read the CSV file that uh, that is Iris data set. I'll read now using the info uh, function. I'll get all the required information of the data set that if the data set is uh, what the type of entries it has, what are the data types, if any null value is present or not, and the memory usage. Now, features and prediction class. So features will be the input columns and prediction class will be the predicting column. Uh, in our case, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width will be in features, and prediction class will be species. So, based on the features, our model will uh, define our model will predict the species. Now, the respective values will be stored in x and y. X will have all the feature values, and y will have all the prediction classes values. Now, uh, uh, from SKL under model selection, we will import a drain test split. Uh, and it will split the x and y data into train test and uh, train te uh, training and testing part the separation will be uh, defined by x uh, test size so in our case it is uh, split it in the ratio of 70 to 30 but you can change it accordingly so the shape of the data shape of the data here uh, suggests that the splitting has been done properly and uh, everything is correct till now now from sklearn.linear model, we will import sgdc classifier. Okay, so classifier, uh, okay, so this classifier has uh, two hyperparameters that I would like to discuss about as it is a basic. So uh, here we have loss, that is hinge loss. So it is a type of loss that calculates uh, what type of, uh, like what uh, loss we are facing. Uh, so uh, we calculate accuracy of our data. Uh, we calculate accuracy of our model. So uh, accuracy is reduced. So it also calculates accordingly what is the uh, loss. So there are different types of losses also, like uh, mean squared error, uh, mean squared loss, and uh, hinge loss, and many others. And the other one is max max iteration. So it will. Uh, the data will uh, continuously run for five iterations to give a uh, better accuracy. Now we will fit the training data into the classifier and we will predict uh, X test on the basis of the model and store it in the Y grid. Now uh, from sklearn.matrix we will import accuracy score and we will uh, give Y test and Y grid in the accuracy score. Uh, now we will uh, get an accuracy here. Uh, sorry, here we have uh, got an accuracy of sixty four point four four, and uh, we have uh, got this uh, because for every y test and y prid being same, the accuracy will increase. Uh, the accuracy increases, and if they aren't same, the accuracy decreases. So this is it, and now we will be moving to the conclusion part. Okay, so now we have came to the conclusion part. So in conclusion, the SGDC classifier is a powerful and efficient uh, classification algorithm that offers several key benefits. Its simplicity is evident in its usage of stochastic gradient descent which updates the model's uh, parameter incrementally based on random mini batches of training data. This approach enables the algorithm to handle large data set with speed and effectiveness. The versatility of SGDC classifier is uh, noteworthy as it supports various loss functions make it, uh, making it suitable for different types of classification problems. Whether it's binary or multi-class classification or even regression tasks, you, uh, users can select appropriate loss function to meet their specific benefits. Uh, moreover, the algorithm flexibility lies in its regularization option by incorporating L1 or L2 regularization user can control the trade-off between model complexity and generalization performances.
Regularizing uh, helps prevent overfitting, ensuring that a model can generalize well to unseen data. While SDDC classifier boasts many advantages, it also requires careful parameter tuning. The learning rate, a critical parameter, uh, in stochastic gradient descent needs proper adjustment of uh, proper adjustment to achieve uh, convergence and prevent overshooting the optimal solution. Additionally, compared to batch gradient descent, uh, which progresses the entire data set, uh, data set at once, uh, SDDC classifier might uh, need more iterations to reach convergence. In practical applications, the SDDC classifier shines when uh, dealing with vast amount of data and computationally efficiency is vital. It's uh, speed and ability to handle data, uh, large data set make it a popular uh, choice in various machine learning tasks. However, to make the most of its capability, user must understand its behavior and perform uh, proper hyperparameter tuning. Okay, so this was it for the video. Thank you and happy learning.